Taurus, thanks for visiting. This is reading for August the 27th to September the 2nd. And if you like this reading, as I always say, I know I say this, um, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you'd like to, only if you would like to. And I have everything ready as usual. I am going to start your reading for Taurus. The first card you have your past is the Emperor. So yes, I'm seeing you really coming out of a really, um, a really emotional time and you're really making an effort to be more structured. Um, it's like not just in your work, but in a lot of different areas. And I'm seeing that, you know, you're, you're always quite organised, you're always quite disciplined in what you do. But then for a while you had this kind of emotional time. You fell out of that, you're a little bit lost in your emotions for a while. And um, you kept going, but you weren't at your best. You kind of just did the basics that you needed to do. And um, a lot of people in these readings this week have been through that time. I keep on seeing this a lot in these readings. Everyone's been through a lot emotionally. Um, but now I'm seeing that then, you know, after that you're coming out of that. And um, it wasn't that you were just coming out of that. It was just that you were really, really determined to come out of that. Because the Emperor is really determined. It's like pushing things, pushing things. Really saying, I am going to force myself to come out of this. And that's what happened. Because I'm seeing that, you know, for a while when you when you had this kind of really emotional time, you're really down in your emotions and you weren't really operating as efficiently as you usually are. Uh, this disorganization and this chaos was actually making you feel a bit worse, even worse than you were. So it's like you got up and everything was chaos and you thought, oh, this is actually making me feel even worse. So I need to make an effort. I mean, need to do something myself to get through this and get over this. And that's what happened. You're making an effort. You had, you know, you're structuring yourself. You're disciplining yourself, disciplining yourself. I should say discipline, disciplining yourself. I'm trying to say disciplining. So you're getting more disciplined and you were kind of um, coming out of that in a determined way, forcing yourself out of that. Now I'm seeing that when you had this emotional time, there was someone who you were speaking to and you kind of enjoyed speaking to them, but they're a little bit kind of miserable in a way. It was like they had a lot to complain about. You were kind of commiserating with them and maybe they were saying, oh, this happened. And then that happened and it's so terrible and la 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 la. And you were feeling like that too. So you had a lot in common with them. You were also saying, oh yes, it's terrible blood. But now when you're coming out of this, now when you started to come out of this, you had to really kind of distance yourself from this person. Um, I'm seeing that you did. It was like you kind of, they were kind of calling you and you had to almost avoid them. It was like you're missing their calls on purpose because you just didn't want to go back down that hole again. You wanted to get yourself out of it. Now, you might have texted them and said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really busy. I'll get back to you when I can, something like that. But you really didn't want to speak to them because it was like, oh, this is going to force me back down again. I don't want to go there again. I'm the emperor, I'm determined, I want to push forward and I want to make things better for myself. So I really have to make this effort. And that's what you did, that's what you were doing at this time. So the next card you have your past is the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so yes, I'm seeing some imbalance in this card because this um, the man in this card has one coin in front of him but the, the tree next to him has a lot of coins on it. It looks like a Christmas tree. It's very heavily decorated with these coins. And so I'm seeing this could be around, obviously I'm seeing money around this because this is about coins. I'm seeing that you might have, you might have done some work for someone or maybe you lent some money to someone at some time and they, they owed you money or they owed you payment for something. It was some kind of an exchange I'm seeing. Now this was some time ago and when you went through this emotional time you weren't really ready to kind of push this or tackle this to try and get any of this back because it was just too much for you. You just couldn't cope with dealing with that. You're just doing the basics that you had to do. But then when you decided to come out of this and you pushed yourself out of this time, now at this time then you're ready to start to kind of approaching this person, trying to tackle this problem. I'm seeing that, you know, this didn't resolve at this time. It might still keep going um, in your future. You might have to keep on battling this um, if 
because I, I'm not seeing this was resolved at this time. Um, I'm seeing you're probably still going to put a lot of work into trying to get this. You might have to chase this person. They might block you. They might disappear or something like that. So there's going to be a lot of work in trying to resolve this. So you might struggle to get what's owed to you. So I can see why you left this, why you're very emotional and vulnerable, because you just did not have the energy to really deal with this great big battle. That's what I'm seeing. But then, you know, then you decided that you were ready. But there's still a lot of work in this, I'm seeing. There's a lot of work trying to get this back. The last card you have you passed is the Six of Swords. So yes, you're really moving forward again. This woman in this boat's really moving forward. She's trying to get out of the mess, the rocky sea, and she's trying to go into a calmer sea. So she's trying to go into a place where everything's more kind of organized, settled, more peaceful, and that's what you were doing at this time. So you're really making an effort, you're cleaning things up in your life, and um, I'm seeing also that you're trying to move on from someone. But this is a moving on in your heart. I'm seeing that you probably already have moved on physically from this person, maybe even a long, long time ago. Maybe even a long time ago you moved physically from them. But you still had a kind of a... Um, you were still hurt. You still had some hurt. You were still carrying around some hurt from this person. Um, and... Yes, there's still a piece of you inside you that hadn't moved on, I'm seeing. So, yes, you're still thinking about this person. You're still feeling a bit sad about things that had happened, uh, about things that they'd done, about things that were sad, things like that. And it's just like the woman in this boat. She's moving on, but she's bringing some swords, some painful memories with her. But, you know, this was final now. This was like, doesn't matter what you're feeling, doesn't matter what you're thinking. You wanted to just move past this and you're really making the effort to do this. The emperor doesn't have all these feelings. The emperor just says, I am determined and I'm going to do this. And that's what you were doing. That's what you were doing. Uh, the first card you have for your present is the Wheel of Fortune. So yes, you're working really hard, pushing things forward, really making an effort to manifest things, to put energy into things. And this hard work is really making your luck change, I'm seeing. So, and that happens quite a lot when people start putting energy into things, putting purpose into things, putting determination into things. It starts that wheel turning and it turns in a little positive way for you. And then it carries other things with it. It's like a snowball. You know, you roll, if you ever rolled a snow, snowball down a hill, it gets bigger and bigger and gathers more snow and gathers more snow and it gathers more. And so this is gathering more and more positive things as you're determined and you do things for yourself. So that's what I'm seeing happening here. You are taking action and then the wheel keeps turning forwards into a positive um, things. So, yes, I'm seeing that um, after this time, when you moved away physically from this person, um, this axe or whoever this was uh, in the Six of Swords who you were moving away from, um, sorry about that noise, I'm going to try to ignore it. I'm not going to let it um, break my concentration, which it's doing. Go away, it's not going to stop. Um, yeah, so let's get back into this. What was I seeing? Um, yes, yes, that's what I was seeing. So when you broke up with this person a while ago, this was a long time ago I'm seeing, you might have dated quite a few people in between that because you thought, oh yes, I really have to get on with things. I'm going to try and date people. I'm seeing that your heart wasn't actually in it. Your heart wasn't really in dating these people. It was like you wanted to be ready. Your head wanted to be ready to see other people, to move on. But your heart wasn't. Your heart really wasn't. So the Wheel of Fortune can be about being reborn or even being revamped into something new. So at this time now, you're finally, finally ready to really move forward, to be with new people, maybe even find new love at this time. Now, you're still not jumping up and down happy. It's not like, you know, your heart's still like, oh, I'm so happy I'm not with this person. You don't want to be with them. But, you know, you are kind of really, really getting through this now. You're really pushing through this. You're putting all of this behind you now. Uh, this is a really, really big, important shift. Uh, and now you're kind of coming into this place where you're truly ready to start this next phase 
in your life so you're going to be ready to see new people now and you're going to be ready to do a lot of things and you did this yourself you did this with the work and the energy you put in with the emperor the next card you have your present is the five of swords so yes i'm still seeing this person who either owes you money or they owe you a payment for something for some work that you did or something like that I keep on seeing some kind of transaction so maybe you did some work for them and um, yes now I'm getting horns as well as a you know what it's like it it's like the orchestra tuning up or something like that it's like now for the grand finale we're going to put horns on top of everything else um, so yes this person owes you money uh, you did some work for them or something like that I'm seeing they didn't pay you or maybe it was that they paid you but they didn't pay you uh, everything that they should have should have it might be that uh, I am seeing there is a long battle there's going to be a long battle between you and this person and after you've kind of battled and battled and battled you're going to just walk away I'm seeing you're probably going to just think look there's no point in me battling anymore I'm wasting my time I'm chasing them I could be earning money in this time I'm chasing money but I'm wasting money in the time that I'm chasing this you might be thinking well I can I can get lawyers or something but then I'm going to pay them money it's just not going to be worth it you're going to just walk away from this and just let it go but you're not just letting it go you're going to set up some kind of system or you are doing this you're setting up some kind of system putting something in place so that you're going to be able to prevent this from happening in your future so this is going to be some kind of contract you set up so that if you do work for people you've got some written contract something legally binding or it's going to be some kind of system where you make sure you get a certain amount of payment before you actually do anything it's going to be something like that it's an organized set system and you know you're right on track with this because again you've had the emperor so you're ready to set up all of these systems these well organized systems the last card you have your present is the moon so yes I'm seeing that actually there could be someone who um, there is someone at this time that you might be interested in romantically actually you're still going to be a little bit cautious you're still going to be a little bit cautious so you are going to be ready to move forward you are going to be ready to see people at this time but you're still going to have this little bit of cautiousness around you you just don't want to repeat the old patterns that were in this last relationship so yes when I look at these watchtowers that's what I'm seeing you're kind of looking out of these watchtowers you're kind of seeing what's around you're making sure you can see everything about this person before you move forward that's not actually a bad thing you just want to make sure you know them 100% properly before you're ready to push forward now this person might be a little bit more um, enthusiastic than you they might want to move forward a lot quicker than you are at this time but you know you're not ready and you're just taking your time which is really good now you're I'm seeing that they're going to take cues from you so if you take your time if you feel like I'm not ready I'm just a little bit cautious they're going to hold back they're going to hold back and wait for you because I'm seeing this is a person who is actually very careful they're very caring they're not going to push you into something you don't want to be and that's what I'm seeing so yes the first card you have your future is the hanged man so yes you're still going to be around this person in the moon card you're still going to be a bit cautious um, and again I'm seeing this is probably someone fairly new uh, this is a fresh start because that's what happens in the Wheel of Fortune you have these fresh starts and um, yes I'm not seeing anything wrong with this person there's no reason for you to be cautious um, this person is actually really good for you I'm seeing um, it's it's going to be interesting because I'm what I'm seeing is you're going to be holding back from this person just very cautious you're still going to be like that in the future and that's going to even make you seem more attractive to them maybe even a little bit more a little bit mysterious they're going to think oh this person's a bit mysterious why are they holding back I'm going to try and come closer when they're holding back that kind of thing but they're not going to be pushy they're not going to push you and what I'm seeing is this is going to be perfect timing because I'm seeing as you as you kind of become less cautious as you get to know this person a lot more as your confidence starts to come back this is going to be perfect 
there's going to be growth between you. I'm seeing these green leaves on top of this tree that this man's hanging from. So this is going to happen. You're going to come closer and closer together. This is going to happen slowly, but everything's going to happen at the right time. This is growing at the right time, at the right pace. Everything's lining up perfectly. This is actually perfect timing. Um, it's going to look like it's slow. It's going to look like everything's happening really slowly, but it's not. It's perfect. Perfect timing. You're going to be at the right uh, time of confidence in your life. You're going to be feeling a lot better in yourself. You're going to be ready. And they're going to come to you and wait for you, and they'll be ready at the right time. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have for your future is the Two of Wands. So I'm seeing some kind of work thing. I'm seeing some kind of work partnership with this. This is going to be some kind of contract, some opportunity you might have with someone. This is a work thing I'm seeing again. This is coming up for you at this time. Uh, this, If you do this, if you say yes to this, this could open up a whole new experience for you. It might feel a little bit scary when you're anticipating doing whatever this is because this is going to be something completely different, completely new to you. It's going to be a kind of an adventure for you. Uh, but if you do this, if you say yes to this, this, this experience is going to be really, really useful for you, um, useful for you in your future. Um, I'm actually seeing this as going to lead to a lot of other opportunities as well. It's like this one thing that you're going to do is going to open up a whole world for you. Um, now, this opportunity might come around slowly again more things are happening slowly it's going to lead you're going to meet someone it's going to lead to an opportunity they're going to say well this project's happening we might talk to you in two weeks and then we might have an interview after another week and then it might take a month for this to happen and then we have to get funding for this project it might be something like that so this is going to be an ongoing process so it's not like this opportunity is going to come and you're going to click your fingers and do it but again, the fact that this is going to happen slowly is going to be perfect timing for you. Along with the fact that this relationship is happening slowly, it's all coming together when you're going to be at the peak of your confidence. So your confidence is growing out of this old time and you, you pushed it in the emperor, you're getting your confidence back now. And when you have it totally back, 100% back, that's when all of these things are going to fall into place for you. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have, your future, is the Knight of Pentacles. So yes, again, this person in this relationship, they're coming toward you. They love you. They're admiring you. Look at the way this um, knight is looking at this coin. He's looking at it as this beautiful, shiny object. He's focused on it. And um, yes, again, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow card. This is going to happen very slowly. You're coming together slowly. But again, this is happening at the right time. Now, if you feel that things are happening slowly, don't try to rush things. This is the universe putting everything into place at the right time. Don't rush things. Don't rush into things. Don't try and push anyone or anything because this is all happening at the right time. This is all going to come together for you. Perfect timing. That's what I'm seeing. So Taurus, I hope this resonated. Um, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with every single person. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so, so much for watching.